All right, so anyway, we've established that we've got a four inch spacing. We've established that a four inch spacing would be VU critical. And so now the question becomes, you know, what is, what's our design gonna look like? You know, um, you know, it could be a lot of things. I could determine that I'll just keep a four inch spacing all the way out, all the way across the beam. That could work, couldn't it? If I kept the four inch spacing, I'd always be at 72.3 kips. My shear diagram is always going to be less than that. That works, right? So you could have one design say this. My first stirrup is a location, you know, I usually give a location of the first stirrup. Okay? So I usually would say one stirrup at, what do you think I'd say? No, not four. Usually you do a fraction of the initial, right? So usually it's about one half of the initial. That's not, that is not really a spacing, that's a location. It's just saying I was putting my first stirrup at two inches out. All right? So, and then if I kept this all the way across the beam, all the way out to the center, how many spa spaces would I need at four inches? Well, let's see. So it's 10 feet out to the middle. That's 120, right? Uh, let's see. If it was, if I was saying four uh, times, you know, 120, I guess that'd be 30. 30 times four is equal to 120, but I already got a two inch spacing in here. So I guess I'll say 29. 29 times four is what, 126? So yeah, 116, oh, yeah, 120, 116 plus two, 118, that gets me right out to the middle, you know, two inches short of the middle, but it gets me right out to the middle, okay? So you could see this, you could see one at two, and then 29 at four, a lot of people would put an EE on the end of it, and the EE would signify what? Each end, because we're going to do the same thing from the other side because, well, it's a symmetrically loaded beam. Okay? Yeah. Why did you say the first one was two? Because we got to put, uh, the first one's always a location of the first stirrup. So it's very typical for the first stirrup to be located <laughs> at some fraction of the initial stirrup spacing. A lot of people would choose roughly about a half of it, you know. But it's not evenly loaded beam. You've got to do the whole thing for one time, right? You can't yeah. do half of it. Right. Okay. okay. So how many stirrups am I using here? 30. 30 for this half the beam. 60 total. Right? Okay, so remember that. So that could be a design. You know, let's, you know, one at two, 29 at four, each end, 60 stirrups total. Maybe you could do a little bit better than that. Okay? But remember that. You know, last week we talked about there's a code criterion that we could use that says, you know, when things really start getting, the shear diagram really starts getting low out here, maybe I just don't need stirrups at all. Remember that? Well, that's a pretty easy design criterion to implement. No stirrups. No stirrups are allowed when VU, my shear diagram, gets below or equal to PVC over 2. 
So that in this case, that means VU has to get below 0.75. I think you told me VC was 30.4. But I'll take one half that value. 11.5. 11.5. So let's figure out where 11.5 occurs at. How far out does it occur at? Well, just an, you know, again, one more rendition of the straight line formula. Where does 11.5 kips occur at? With a line that's going down 8 kips per foot, and it starts out at 80 kips. So you take 80 minus 11.5 and then you divide that by 8. And you're going to tell me x comes out to be 8.56. That's feet. 8.56 feet. 8.56 feet times 12 gives me what? Okay, 102.75, call it 103 inches, okay? If you get 103 inches out, you don't need stirrups anymore. Okay, yes? I missed that last part. When x equals 8.56, and how'd you get to 103? Uh, 8.56 feet, and all I did was express it in inches. So, 103, if I get to 103 inches out, I really don't need stirrups anymore. So, what could my design be then? Well, one at two. How many at four will get me to 103 or past 103? Well, 25 times four gets me 100, right? Plus two is 102. I just missed. So, how about 26? That gets me to 106 inches out. That's past 103. I'd be able to do that. There's a slightly modified design that will still work. And I live within the code. How many stirrups does this use? Uh, yeah, 26 plus 1 is 27 times 2 is 54. So I spent, you know, about two minutes on that. I just, you know, uh, went down six stirrups, which might not sound like a lot, but if you have, you know, 240 of these beams, all of a sudden that starts to add up. All right? So again, second type of...